Hello children, welcome to my class. Today I will teach you the testament of a walker written by R.K. Narayan. And R.K. Narayan is famous Indian writer. So to know what is testament of a walker, first of all you should know about the author. Without not knowing the author, you will not be able to understand anything about the text. To relate the text with you, to understand the text properly, you must understand clearly who is the author, what type of a person he is, what is his contribution. All right. So that's why today I came with the author's introduction. So today I will introduce you with the author. Thereafter, we will learn the text. It is basically an essay piece written by R.K. Narayan. Okay. And the name of the chapter is The Testament of a Walker. Okay. The philosophy of a walker, the ideology of a walker, the conception about a walker. All right. So let us first give an introduction to who is the author. The author is Rashipuram Krishna Swami Ayyar Narayana Swami. In short, R.K. Narayan. He was born in the year 1906 and he survived till 2001. Thereafter, he died. Okay. So, he is popularly known as R.K. Narayan. And R.K. Narayan was born into a middle class family. Okay. And he was moved from rural Madras to the city Madras with his family when he was 5 years old. He was admitted to a missionary school just like he was studying in a missionary school. All right. So he also studied in a missionary school and there he learned English. And he had a special fascination regarding English. I am sure you also like English, isn't it? Because you score very good marks in English. Yes. So similarly, he also had a special fascination about English. Thereafter, they moved to Mysore and then he got his higher education at Mysore's very important educational institution and the name of it is Maharaja's College. He got admitted to Maharaja's College. It is one of the most prestigious college even now. All right. And then he wrote his first novel, which is Swami and Friends in the year 1935. And the second novel he wrote is Bachelor of Arts in 1937. And he created the world of Malguri Days. And Malguri Days was his masterpiece, which every Indian knows who are related to literature. Malguri Days is about an imaginary place called Malguri and every day new incident happen there. All right, every day something or the new will be happening there. So in fact, it was so popular, this novel was so popular that uh, it was adapted and made a TV series in Durashan and it was telecasted before I was born, maybe in 1990s, 1991, 1992. So maybe during that time, this was telecasted in Durashan. I had watched it in YouTube, one or two series, you know, episodes. It was really good. I must say, Malguri Days, which was adapted into a TV series. Just you can imagine how good writer he must be. That's why his writing has been adapted to a TV series, right? All right. Now coming back to him. So Malguri became the, you know, landscape that dominated Narayan's total fictional world. And that was also reflected in The Dark Room, which he wrote in 1938. The financial expert, the English teacher, he also wrote one novel named as English teacher in the year 1949. Okay. And uh, he wrote 12 novels, five collection of short stories. And his famous writings, Always Remember, Malgrid Days, which he wrote in 1942. All right. And uh, the ACPs. Uh, the testament of a walker is basically taken from his collection of AC, which is a writer's nightmare, and he wrote it in 1988. So, uh, Arkin Ryan wrote a collection, made a collection of his ACs, and he gave the name of this collection as a writer's nightmare. Okay, remember that a writer's nightmare, and from that collection, he took out this testament of a walker. For us okay so the book the one who have made this book for you for high secondary second year alternative english he has selected this ac the testament of a worker from the collection of essays of 
R. K. Narayan, and that collection is A Writer's Nightmare, and it was published in the year 1988. Okay, so this is enough for the introduction of the author, and he is one of the famous Indian author. Okay, who died in the year 2001, 13th of May. And he was born in 10th of October 1906. All right. And you can understand how many years he have survived. And he was a person who was born in a rural Madras, shifted to the city. Thereafter, he studied in an English missionary school. And there he loved English. And he went to Maharaja's College at Mysore, one of the most prestigious college. He wrote English teacher. He wrote Bachelor of Arts. He wrote uh, Swami and Friends, which is his first novel. And his best novel among all is Malguri Days. All right. So I hope that this is enough for the introduction. Oh, yes, I have to tell you that this is about a walker. The entire essay is about the ought or the walker's idea about walking. The walker. Walker means, you know, a person who walks in the street. Walker. W-A-L-K-E-R. So this particular essay is about walking. Whether walking is good or bad. Understand? Testament of a walker means what? Testament means philosophy. Okay, your ideology, my ideology, whether you think this class is good or bad, is your ideology? Yes or no? Similarly, testament means ideology, okay, of a walker. What does the walker think? That walking is good or bad, all right? Testament of a walker means the ideology, the concept, the opinion of a walker about walking whether walking is good or bad not working okay walking w a l k i n g so this walking is good or bad what does he think testament means opinion your opinion my opinion anyone's opinion the testament means the opinion of a walker the testament of a walker so next class i will explain you the text thank you so much